All right, here it is. The much vaunted and somewhat infamous Swagtron EB8 electric bike. Uh, two things I want to point out right at the beginning here. You see these what look like lockout but knobs I guess you'd call them. Guess what? Let me show you a little something. See if I can get it here. There's your, there it is. There's your knockout, lock, uh, lockout knob, I guess you'd call it. And good luck. Just a little thing they stick in there. You can't look down in there, but the air strut, I guess, is in there somewhere. Nope, I wish you could lock it out, but nope. That's just a freaking thing. Can you believe it? Just a little insert, a little rubber insert. Does absolutely nothing. And the front shocks, unfortunately, are horrid. They bottom out and they top out. Just, I don't know, maybe I got some bad shocks. I don't know what it is, but horrid shocks. Uh, the back one seems to work. No way to know for sure. But the other thing that I wanted to point out right at the beginning is these wheels. The holes in the wheels. This, and they're, they're double walled, which is kind of nice, you know, a little stronger. But putting these holes in here, or any kind, any kind of cutting into here, just not a good idea. You know, complexity. You got, now, now you got some bladder or liner in here that you have to worry about lining up. If you read one of the Amazon reviews, the tire blows up, and I don't doubt it sharp sharp edges here very sharp on both of these which is why you need the liner and then that's something you'd have to play with so if you get an e-bike especially one of the fat ones avoid the cutouts with a passion just a complication when you I haven't had to change a tire yet I'm not looking forward to it thanks to having this and it's another place if you're get a stick in there it, it can go right into there this is pushes in it's rubber you know no thank you and again I say no thank you uh, now it's 36 volt 350 wheel and hub motor and it's served me well got at least several hundred miles on it the seat stem's been replaced by a mongoose seat stem because the one they give you short is H and it's got a old bell seat because it seats horrible just absolutely horrible that's an add-on uh, rack there so it didn't come with it obviously another thing I'd like to mention is get fenders if you get these big babies get fenders i have to slow down at puddles if there's a lot of dirt i gotta watch out getting it all over me and the bike fenders on these fat tire suckers and there's one thing i have to ask people watching this if you have one of these or a fat tire mini you know the 20 incher i guess they call it does it rim out because this these rim out big time. I'll hit a hard, tall bump, and the bottom of the, the or the yeah, the bottom of the tire will meet the rim. It's very unpleasant. The one thing I definitely want to mention, oh well, I already mentioned is these sh shock absorbers are absolutely horrible. Unless I get bad from the factory or I don't know what. There's some kind of strut in there, air strut I assume. If I could replace that with some gas struts, I'd love it. Just to be able to lock it out would have been nice. So it's so bogus that it's got that rubber insert for the locking out. Uh, but just horrid. I, I, I'm thinking of sticking some rings, something in here, and just make it a lockout. 
because it's let me tell you but it, it's been a runner let me tell you I've got like I say several hundred miles at about a year and a half hasn't let me down uh, I'm not really worth mentioning but of course this thing is just horrid whoever thought of that real pain to get back in there just an absolute night that the plug-in for the uh, charging while it's in there uh, love the tires you know it's, it's like riding a motorcycle on the sidewalk don't mind that at all uh, I did have if you'll notice the kickstand is affixed to the rear axle at the nut there and I have had problems with that coming undone and then it it caused this to be crooked so anybody if you if, if this is crooked and you're worried about and the brakes not working well it's crooked it could be this having loosened up because every time you do that you mess with this a little bit so check all four of these that's one thing I didn't do and this one was loose and it was halfway off of the damn you know the axle so I lucked out, but now I got to replace the brake pads because they wore. Because it's one thing about the discs is it's got to be even on both sides and the disc itself. So almost more trouble than they're worth, but they stops good. Uh, but as I say, I paid nine hundred. If these go on sale for seven ninety nine or eight hundred. I wouldn't get it. I think you're looking at factory refurbish. You're looking at returns, factory second. I don't know what, but I paid nine. It came. It was obviously straight from the factory, packaged well. One of the pedals had uncollapsed and was sticking out of the bag, but thankfully it didn't do any damage or any problems. So no problem there. Love the handlebars. I considered it different uh, folding bikes fat tire mini fo fat tire folding bikes and they have the crappiest looking little stem steering crap I love this one now again would I buy it again no I wouldn't pay 900 uh, I did get the extra battery it took me forever to get it now I'm worried about pinching it every time you open it to do the battery I'd almost wish I'd gotten the EB6 that's got the battery in the back because you can always take off the front tire, the seat stem, and the handlebars and it's it would be pretty portable, let me tell you. This, yes, you're getting it portable one way, but then it, it turns, it gets real fat. I don't think you could get it in a truck. A hatchback maybe, but not in a trunk as fat as it is you know unless it's got a real big opening uh but you know hey i've had a blast on it you know i it, it hasn't let me down no flats been happy with the kenda tires thing tracks like you wouldn't believe thanks to the fat tires but uh watch out for a slick black top that's got any moisture on it you will you know don't even take a chance took a sharp turn and that was the last time I did that let me promise you that but again 350 36 volt 10 amp I, I could probably get close to 50 if I did a lot of help with the pedaling gear ratio sucks I'd rather have five gears spaced out better you get to the seventh tallest gear and it's so far out that it's it's almost like it's grinding a little bit because it's at a bad angle and the top tallest gear probably good for 12 15 miles an hour this thing will do 18 so if you've got it fully wide open good luck <laughs> you'll be the keystone cop <laughs> but uh you know I, I, it's a good looking i don't like uh swag tron all over the place you know that's a little gaudy for my taste to be quite honest somebody took some paint thinner and ghosted it out and that, I was tempted to put some uh, reflective tape over it or something, but eh, you know, I don't care. <laughs> uh, but she's a runner, you know, she'll do the 18. 
uh, you can go f well over an hour just diamond it with no pedaling so it's you know it's it, it was a gift if i'd have had to earn 900 bucks it'd been another thing but you know I, i'm tempted to either lock out the fronts or stick some gas struts or do something if anybody knows any hack i can do with these front forks uh and get a much better seat the seat that came with it and the stem stem was too short the seat was lousy this is barely doing it get a foam to hell with gel the foam seats are the way to go if you if you got a bony butt like i do so get the foam uh but you know hey it's it's a good looking bike i'll give it that much uh i'm not sure about having to replace the battery you know keep opening it and then you're flexing the everything the, the cables and I was a little worried about they had a lot of problems with the battery sliding in and not doing things right getting unhinged or messed up so sticking the second one in you know but uh it's you know it's not a thumbs up it's not a thumbs down but i wouldn't i would look at the eb six i think it is maybe the eb5 i don't know what it is it's got the battery in the back you wouldn't have to do anything and like i say you could break it down and it'd be almost as small as this i don't think it's worth it does protect the battery though that's nice and hides it it looks nice but uh no i don't think so the xp i hear a lot of good things about that it's got the doesn't have a a fork in the front but that's you know uh air shock so but it's you know i think they put it in the right they give you fenders and a lot of other things that's one thing i've heard about a three inch tire regular size bike e-bike for 1300 if you check youtube maybe you'll find it that's the one i'd go for i i love these tires but if, if they if, please in the comment tell me if you own one of these mini fat tires do they rim out on a hard tall bump because these rim out way too easily and i've they're recommended 20 pounds max and i've got them at 25 because you know i want to go as far as i can go i'm just cruising the suburban environment so please tell me in the comments if you own one of these and they naturally rim out maybe because they're just too f wide or they can't carry enough pressure but this rims out way too easy it's scary uh but that's my review for the eb8 uh you know it looks good it's run great haven't had problems with the tires uh no flats but the shocks if this is the way they come normally horrid it's a shame that's got the faked here let me show that one more time here's you go here's your lockout let me lock it out okay now it's locked out yep all locked out not thanks swagtron hey it looks nice this is more looks than go let me tell you don't get the xp get the look at the eb six or five whatever it is this you know again looks good it has run well but i wouldn't spend another nine and get it again uh thanks for watching my review hope you got a little something out of it bye